Stop dating people who do these things. Look, life is complicated enough. I don't know about you, but there's no time to spare. Neither is there time for games. There are people who keep showing you over and over again that they are simply not worth your energy and certainly not worth your time when basically you encounter them. Don't just walk away. Flee. Now this video explicitly tells you the kinds of people you should avoid dating. I'll be right back. Welcome back, my name is Jessica and this is my YouTube channel. Today's video, of course, is brought to you by Passion Air. More details on them later. I begin today's video with a story of a gentleman I once knew. Now, he was a business executive doing really good, had a bright future. Up until the time he got married, he had everything going for him. Everything a young man will tick off his accomplishment boxes having done but he made a very grave mistake, a wrong choice, when he decided to date and eventually marry a particular woman. Now the signs were there, bold, on the wall, but he ignored them, perhaps because he also believed that despite the glaring red flags he could see before making that final commitment, love could perhaps conquer all. I'm sad to say this, but he paid with his life only three months into his marriage. Now, this is a true story, but out of respect for his friends and family and the people who may know exactly who I'm referencing, I'm leaving big details out of this short narration. The nub of this little spiel of mine is to really drive home the importance of things that go beyond physical appearance, that should go beyond status, money, when it comes to picking a life partner. Now, of course, before you even get to that stage, you must, of course, pick and date a couple of people, date the right person. Now, dating someone is one of the biggest and life-changing decisions that you could possibly make. Choosing the right person can present you with a truly wonderful life, whereas rushing into picking a life partner could be one of the biggest regrets and biggest downfalls of your life. So whatever you do, make sure that they don't do these things I'm about to outline in today's video. Let's jump right in. Number one, they still flirt with other people. Now, how terrible is it to go out to a public place and watch them flirt with another person right in front of you? Right in front of you. Even if it's just a waiter or waitress. I'm sorry, but those actions are a huge indicator that they're capable of cheating. They're capable of being unfaithful. You should be the one that they're making laugh and feeling giddy about. And if you don't get rid of them quickly, it could cause you future pain that you won't be able to fathom. Flirting is not harmless, as some people say, and no, it's not fun and games when you're in a committed relationship, and it should never be categorized as such. If they still flirt with other people whilst they're dating you, it's a red flag. Nothing else but a red flag. Number two, they get sketchy whenever you ask to see their phone. Mm, controversial one, and I wanna hear your thoughts in the comments below, let me know. Now, in my opinion, this is a serious warning sign. It could mean they're hiding something or withholding some information that they don't want you to know about. The question perhaps you should ask yourself at this point is, well, what is it? What are they withholding? What are they hiding and why? Listen, without trust, a relationship can't grow. Look at it this way. You're going to be entrusting your life into the hands of this person. I mean, every night you go to bed beside them, you're going to close your eyes, trusting that they're not gonna snuff you out like a candle whilst you're asleep. Every day you make a meal, you're going or eat their meals, you're going to believe that it hasn't been poisoned. Now, if this person cannot trust you enough to share something as trivial and perhaps even irrelevant as a phone or a password to a phone, what can you trust them to share? I mean, I understand everyone has skeletons in their cupboard. Indeed, some more than others, but after dating for a while, when someone is serious about you, I believe that they would want to come clean and tell you important things that especially could potentially affect your relationship. If you meet someone who's being sketchy, that's another red flag. Number three, they refuse to give you a title. <laughs> now this happens 
ever so often. Here's a hint. If you've been dating someone for more than three months and they refuse to call you their girlfriend or boyfriend, then they're just not committed to you. And nothing good can come from someone who doesn't know what they want. Now, oftentimes people are scared to push for relationships to be defined because they don't wanna come across as needy, you know? And this is how they end up being strung along for months on end, you know, letting the other party off the hook and then crying to everyone who will listen about how they were used when they eventually get dumped. Dear viewer, there's absolutely nothing wrong with asking someone you've been really close to over time to define the nature of your relationship. Remember this, there's nothing that makes you weak about it. Let them tell you what's going on. Number four, they don't care for you. Now, if you're a man, never date a woman who doesn't care about you. If all she seems to do is want to take, 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 she may have ulterior motives. Now, women are natural nurturers. A good woman doesn't need prompting to take care of her man. And her form of care shows up in various ways, differs from woman to woman, but you know, comes from physical care to emotional care. In the same vein, if you're a woman, never date a man who doesn't protect you from the little and the big things in life. You know, does he make sure you're safe when you cross a busy road? Does he stick up for you when there's a verbal argument with someone else? Or simply put his arm around you when you're feeling vulnerable? If he doesn't, then he may not be worth dating. You see, a man should want to do these things because it's kind of built into a man's DNA to want to protect protect or to seek out relationships that allow him to feel like the protector and the provider. Number five, stop dating people who do not honor their word. Now, when someone doesn't honor their words to you, it simply means that they don't respect you. Trust me. Keeping a word is more about, or more than just doing what you say you will. It's about showing you have someone's back. It's, it doesn't matter if the task is menial. If you say you're going to get it done, do it because that's what builds credibility. It builds trust. It builds self-accountability. Failing to keep our word communicates our values and standards. It also communicates if we value others. Now, every time we don't keep our word, it affects us and also affects how we perceive others. If you can't trust what the person you're dating is saying or says to you, how are you going to trust them in general with bigger things that really matter? Number six, they don't make you a priority in their life. Now you deserve someone that makes room for you in their life. You don't have to consume their life, but you need to be a big part of it. Regardless of the circumstance, if they're finding it hard to squeeze you in for more than once or twice a week, it's a clear warning sign that you're not a big part of their life. You're not a priority. If you're willing to make room in your life, they should too. Now I get it that there are times and seasons where everyone, you know, gets super busy, things get crazy, but making time for people that matter to you, even when life is beating you down, um, says more than you ever will about how much someone means to you. It's about still being able to make time in your chaos for the one that you claim to love, that carries more weight than anything else. Number seven, they hold you to double standards. Without belaboring this point, what is good for the goose is good for the gander. A classic example of this is if they're always happy to go out, say drinking with their friends or their buddies, but they get mad when you do same. No matter how they spin it, that's just not okay. Relationships should be about fairness. It should be about respect. It should be about equality. It's a partnership, not a slave and a slave master union, right? Now, before I go on to my next pointer, Passion Air is an airline that operates in Ghana. And of course, it takes you from one Ghanaian city to the next. Flypassionair.com is the website you need to visit the next time you wanna book a flight to travel safely and affordably and comfortably as well within Ghana anytime you feel like going to that exciting destination. Go to flypassionair.com right now and you won't be disappointed. Thank me later. Number eight, they put you down. Now, some people thrive on feeling bigger and better than others, you know, it's toxic. If they call you names or they're always on a mission to make you feel small so they can stand tall, you need to ask yourself why you're in a relationship with them. I don't believe people like that need a 
a partner. I think maybe what they need is a competitor, you know, someone who they can beat and barrage to give them the confidence booster that they obviously need. If your partner has a habit of making you feel small, it may be time to check out of that relationship because they don't mean well for you. A partner should be someone who encourages you to do better, to be better, to be your best self. Number nine, they hate spending time with your friends and family. Listen, if they constantly bash your friends and family and show lack of respect, it means they have no respect for you either. Not only is this a warning sign that they're not really compatible with you, friends and especially family are so important when it comes to relationships because they are very key players when issues arise down the line. And these issues will come, you know? If they really can't tolerate any of the people that mean the most to you, you need to be really careful and tread cautiously. If they look down on your family, look down on your friends, you think they respect you? They don't, I'm sorry to say. And finally, number 10, they turn their mistakes into your mistakes. They fail at something, but somehow you're the one apologizing for it. If this is the case, it's a sure fire sign that they're manipulative and skillful at turning everything around to become your fault. Such people never accept their own faults and can be like poison for your mental health. They'll chip away at your self-esteem and leave you in a very bad place with very little will to live. They'll leave you suicidal if you're not careful. You know, run when you encounter such people. These are people you should never date, you should never entertain in your life. On the contrary, the kinds of people you need to keep in your life are people who will hold you up, people who will lift you up, people who will encourage you, people who will, will, will challenge you to pursue your dreams because they're so focused on pursuing theirs as well. Those are the kinds of people people who will show you how to stay positive. Those are the kinds of people that we all need. So don't just date people because of looks. Don't just date people because of money. None of those things carry that much weight. And in the end, none of those things really matter. Neither do they give you happiness. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, smash the like button, share it with someone who would find this video beneficial. My name is Jessica, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video. Cheers.